Today we're going to be checking out a very unlikely collaboration between Megan Thee Stallion and Spirit Box. On the surface, this seems like a very strange pairing. Megan Thee Stallion is one of the biggest, you know, rising hip hop artists uh, in that scene, and Spirit Box is in a completely different world in the kind of progressive metalcore world, just absolutely killing it. But it's not quite as unlikely as it seems. You know, they actually collaborated last year on a song called Cobra, where Mike basically rewrote the entire song uh, and kind of remixed it as if Spirit Box had done the instrumentals and Courtney came in and did some vocals and stuff. It was pretty sick. But this time they're doing a more of a collaboration on an original song. Uh, this one's called TYG. Uh, and I'm pretty stoked to check it out. I think Megan is a very talented rap artist. I really enjoy her freestyles. I think she's really, really good at that. She's got great flow, and I think that she would work really well in kind of a more aggressive context. So I'm really stoked to see what that sounds like with Spirit Box behind the wheel. So let's just jump right into it. But before we do, I'd love to ask you to join the community and subscribe. We love discovering and checking out great new music just like this. We'd love to have you. Ruby. I'm running down on any bitch that look like you. So when you see me, bitch, you know I'm finna act a fuck. I do, and I do, and I do for you motherfuckers. But I still ain't heard of the bass. Courtney in there. I go hard in the pain. I'm the type to touch your face to put my fingers in your face. Yeah, I'm the type of bitch put my fingers in your face. I'm gonna test you if you pussy. I go hard in the pain. Can we be honest? I'm really iconic. Whatever I do, keep people talking. I just be breathing. Now it's a problem. I'm with a nigga. Now he a topic. Can't let a bitch play me this ain't about y'all. I really be grinding, I really be wildin' These bitches be talking, but I be on time And guitar time is sick Here come another bitch Spigin' on my moves What the fuck do we got to do with you? You hoes, Courtney It's just talking about the guitar, it's just like drop Z Spigin' on my life, cause yours is so boring Production is really, really good. That's really short. Dang. It's almost already over. That was Spirit Box and Megan the Stallion with their new song TYG. Let's break it down. <laughs> oh, it's definitely interesting. Really not what I was expecting. I, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more Courtney on there. Yeah, you know, she was really just kind of in the call and response, you know, yeah, 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 back and forth part. Um, but you know, I could really see Mike's influence kind of all over this song. You know, his guitar work was really kind of obviously toned back from what Spirit Box is known for, but it's still iconically Mike. You know, it's just so chunky and groovy. It fits right in with this kind of like trap metal, aggressive metal or aggressive rap style. I thought the production overall was really, really good. You know, sometimes with these collaborations I, that I've checked out, they just get the guitar tone wrong when they're trying to do a metal thing. It gets too tinny, it's too thin, but because Megan went straight to the source and got one of the best guitarists in the scene to do it, 
He did it right, and it sounds beefy and chunky and thick and just right. It sounds really, really good. The, the production was really amazing. I thought it was really interesting to hear Megan's voice in that kind of raspy tone that she had, that aggressive tone throughout most of this song. But honestly, in verse two, when she kind of fell back into like her normal like rap flow and in that normal tone of voice that she has most often. I thought it sounded the best in that song. But man, I really, really would have loved a whole Courtney verse on here. I think that would have been absolutely sick. Um, but I guess that's not really the vision of the song that they were going for. But nevertheless, it was a neat track. I'm glad we checked it out. It's pretty fun. Um, it's just so cool to see Spirit Box out there. Like, doing stuff with these massive, massive artists. And it's really just good exposure for the band and for the scene as a whole. I see this song as an absolute win. Even though it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, I think that this is a good thing for the scene and for Spirit Box. Let me know what you guys thought of this one in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. That's gonna do for me today. See you the next one.